This is PN3, a stylish third-person shooter with endless pizzazz, and which unfortunately epitomizes the old critic's cliché, style over substance. PN3 was the brainchild of Shinji Mikami, an acclaimed game designer whose body of work includes Devil May Cry, Beautiful Joe, and God Hand. Perhaps most notably, he also created Resident Evil. Now, PN3 was a project Mikami was especially jazzed about, and prior to its release, there was a good deal of hype starting to build around it. PN3 became one of five games collectively known as the Capcom 5, a series of GameCube exclusives meant to set the gaming world ablaze by disregarding the status quo and reversing what Capcom described as the industry's continuing regression of excitement and new stimulation. The fate of the Capcom 5 is a very interesting story we'll get into some other time, but suffice to say, a lot of us were intrigued by PN3. And why shouldn't we have been? The game has style for days, uh, has a sexy protagonist, and offers a snazzy modern twist on old school shooting games. PN3 could have been something special. I mean, it has exploding robots and butt shaking. Talk about nailing your demographic, this stuff almost makes my brain explode. Unfortunately, PN3 also falls short of delivering on the ample promise of its individual parts. You'll know what I mean when you play it, but the game just doesn't feel finished. Well, the game leaves no questions about what it's trying to do. PN3 is meant to be a sensual, rhythmic dance choreographed amid a flurry of lasers and explosions set in a dark and futuristic dystopia. And at least in intent, the style and aesthetics are inextricably linked with the gameplay. Controlling the foxy mercenary Vanessa Schneider, you arrive on a desolate space colony where a computer arms management system has basically pulled a Skynet and gone completely berserk. As rogue robots of all shapes and sizes fire lasers at you from seemingly every angle, you're supposed to calmly dance between them, bending and pirouetting to the rhythm of pulsating techno before stopping and unloading the pain. That's the idea. It's a cool idea. And when it works, it's a very cool idea. But the problem is that PN3 never fully capitalizes on the potential of the mechanic, instead only giving you glimpses of how awesome it might have been. I mentioned PN3 feels unfinished, and in no regard does that feel more accurate than in the game's environments. I'm actually playing through several different levels in this review, but you'll notice everything looks the same. The halls, the rooms, the floors, they're virtually indistinguishable. The whole idea of a pristine white exterior hiding a rotten mechanical core is pretty cool in the first level, but after you've seen it again and again and again, it just gets stale. The game ends up feeling laborious because you never really feel like you're progressing. The repetitive nature of shooting at robots is only amplified by the repetitive nature of the halls in which you're doing it, and that's a real shame. There are a few outdoor levels, but ironically, after spending some time outside, you'll be longing to be back in the giant white MacBook Vanessa has been apparently hired to cleanse. But PN3's biggest problem is its controls. Vanessa is supposed to be nimble, she's supposed to dance around like a ballerina, but the controls just don't allow it. Vanessa can't even move and shoot at the same time, though you can tell she'd like to, and she even moves a bit sluggishly. A controls this clunky or anything but ideal for a game as nimble as PN3 wants to be. Still, I really do love the concept almost as much as I love hot chicks who aren't afraid to shake it, so there are actually some things to like about the game. PN3 sorta has an arcade-like feel because it's a short game meant to be blasted through for point totals. The levels are brief and they're based on the idea of successfully clearing each individual room and racking up point totals in doing so. You do that through the use of combos and going untouched by enemy fire. With the points you earn, Vanessa can buy new suits which alter her abilities, or you can upgrade the suit you already have. Each one comes loaded with the standard palm shot as well as some cool special shots, which really inflict damage and just look badass. Now, don't get me wrong, PN3 isn't awful by any means. It's just really disappointing. Here's what's nice about PN3. You can find it dirt cheap on eBay, 
It's super sexy and stylish, and at least in short bursts, it provides a gameplay hook that's actually kind of interesting. Unfortunately, that hook is roughly one-eighth as awesome as it could have been.